Hello everyone, this is White Wolf and we are going live. So we're gonna be talking about flipping the script to a line. What does it mean to flip the script? It means to lay out all the things that you want and all the things that you desire, but also thinking about the things that you want to do in the future and allowing yourself to place everything with the intention of placing it in the present and maintaining that present awareness with it, but also allowing yourself to flip the script and just align to that script and change the narrative every day and wake up with the sense of fulfillment, but also the sense of what you're aware of, what you're aware of, but also what you're thinking about. And also allowing yourself to think, allowing yourself to feel, allowing yourself to have those sensations and to have those vibrations that you're sending out. And it's just finding how how to emit that vibration and how to emit the energy and align yourself to the frequency of abundance. So when we're flipping the script, we're changing the narrative, we're changing the theme, we're changing the way that we speak, we're changing our vocabulary, we're changing our dictation, we're changing how we present ourselves. So I think it's in the presentation of what you want your Mona Lisa to be. So we all have to change the presentation We have to change how we feel about it, but we also have to change how we're disempowering ourselves or unwilling to let go or what we're restricting within ourselves and know that it's okay to feel that for that brief moment, but then let it go. So we're letting go of the sense of being human, but it's actually tapping more into humanity, but it's allowing us to shift into that individuation of creation by flipping the script and absolutely just doing a 180 and doing a complete 360 on what you do every single day. It's changing the routine. It's finding out what you really need or what you really desire, but it's just placing it there within your vortex. So where do you need to place your energy and where do you, do you need to manage your time and where do you need to prophesy your future? When can you allow yourself to speak upon the future while you're in the present? So what we're doing is that we're maintaining that present awareness of that desired reality or that destiny fulfilled or that state of aliveness, but we're channeling the energy of the future. But the energy of the future is over there and the energy of the past is back there. So how do we do that? It's when we place everything that we want right here, right now. And it's just as simple as writing down in your notebook, what do I want to accomplish in a year's time? What do I want to do with my life in the next two weeks? What kind of energy can I put into my business? How can I be a great mother to my children? How can I change the way that I feel at this exact moment? How can I chill out and just calm down and just find my center and find my groove and find where I need to be at this exact moment and knowing that I'm exactly where I need to be at this exact moment. So just know that you're not a minute early and you're not a minute late, but you're absolutely right where you need to be at this exact moment. Because within our vulnerability, within the sensitivity, within the tenderness of our own heart, that's where the heart of creation lies and that's how we generate dimensional ley lines. And that's how we allow the wires to not be crossed, but we allow there to be circuitry And we allow there to be an interconnectedness to this vibration that we're going about. Many different aspects. So we're tapping into our God aspects. We're tapping into our archangel archetypes. But we're also tapping into the aspects, the monad, the I am presence that are in different realms and different planes and different universes. So we're trying to channel all that knowledge all at once. And we're trying to become the container of consciousness. And we're trying to align those vertebrae and we're trying to align our chakras. And that is very difficult a lot of the time because we're taking in so much information and a lot of information is going out. It doesn't mean that you forget about it completely. It doesn't mean that you implement it, but a lot of the times it's coming in and coming out. So that's why there's flow. So when we allow ourselves to not go with our ego, but we go with a purified ego and we allow ourselves to see that we don't need to know everything, that we don't need to know all the details, we don't need to know all of the outcomes. We don't need to force it to happen. We don't need to be complacent about it either. But just know that everything that we need to know will be known and will be shown to us 
when it's the right moment and the precise moment. Because sometimes things happen within the acceleration at a great speed of velocity. So we're like the metaphysical being that's very much going at a great rate of speed in a slow amount of time. So we don't realize that we're actually going fast and we have the ability to slow down time and we have the ability to speed it up. So it's finding out how to dissolve the illusion of time and the illusion of victimization and also the illusion that we are a physical being here. So when we only focus on what is physical, when we only focus on what is here and what is now and what is present, and we're focusing on social issues, we're focusing on like gender or this or that. It's about your soul at the end of the day. It's literally just about what is here, what is now and what is present. It's about the non-physical. It's about your soul. It's not about my hat here. It's not about my blue shirt. It's not about my face. But it's all about the energy around it. That's what it's about. So when people are still focusing on the physical aspects of reality, they're not allowing the non-physical and the physical, the, the polarities of positive and negative to balance out. So that means that there is an imbalance of the masculine and the feminine energy. Because the feminine energy is fertility. The feminine energy is growth, is expansion, is sensitivity, it's unconditional love. And then the masculine comes in with discernment, with wisdom, with authority. So when we're flipping the script to a line, we're losing the focus of the egoic mind. We're losing focus of what is just here. Because in our mind is very surface level. So when we only have a surface level vibration, that means that we're focusing our attention on things that do not matter. Find the things that matter, allow you to give them the right amount of significance. Give them a right amount of potency. Give them the right amount of credence and make sense of them and make them knowledgeable but also acknowledge them and then recognize them. Because that's so beautiful because once you are recognizing the things that do matter, you look at all the things that you used to focus on and you realize that was a waste of time. Like, um, it's kind of like I, uh, I was watching like a video and this person was focusing on all the comments they made on their videos and stuff. And I don't focus on that anymore because it doesn't matter what someone says. I'm not going to live my life based on someone else's terms. I'm going to live my life on my own terms. And in the spiritual community, we need to teach ourselves that it doesn't matter how someone wants you to live your life. It doesn't matter what your master says. It doesn't matter what your mom or your sister or your brother say. But it matters what you say and what you vocalize with your throat chakra. So that's all that matters. All the other stuff is just hearsay, agree to disagree, opinions, hearsay. But when it's coming from a truthful place, when it's coming from a loving place, that's when you know. And it doesn't matter whatever anybody else is channeling, you know what you're channeling. So you have to know what your proper channel is. And then you allow yourself to have that self-realization of what you are channeling and what you're supposed to bring in into your awareness and what you're supposed to bring into your life, but also how to bless others in a great, impactful way. So as light workers, as people who meditate every day, as people who are working on themselves, we want to impact, but we want to impart as well. So we're trying to impart knowledge, wisdom, courage, and stability within other people. And that's why we do these live feeds. That's why we make videos. And it's not just to showcase who we are. Now, the non-physical beings, that's what they think we're doing. They think we're just kind of being silly and doing all these light codes and light language and things of that nature. But what we're really doing is making sure that everybody is connected to the sphere of consciousness. We're making sure that everybody's finding their own truth. It's like a flavor of ice cream. Some of you are vanilla ice cream. Some of you are Rocky Road ice cream. 
Um, some of you are pistachio ice cream, which is like my personal favorite. I love it a lot. Um, but everybody is meant for something and everybody has a way to flip the script. And just because I say something doesn't mean you have to resonate with it. And that's what's beautiful. So I was just thinking, I was just really happy today. I woke up very fulfilled. I woke up very alive, very balanced. And uh, my girlfriend was like, you're kind of like full of yourself. Not like in the sense where you're saying someone is being pompous or arrogant, but to be filled with spirit, to be filled with abundance, to be filled with love and passion and grace or God or whatever you want to call it. It doesn't matter what you call it. But when you are fulfilled, that's an energy that surpasses everything. And it's a beautiful energy. It's an energy that allows you to just get to the heart of the matter. It allows you to be the metaphysical surgeon and allows you to get and tap into the heart centers. And sometimes it's just like owning your own stuff you know, being accountable, being reliable, but also just being responsible with your vibration. And I think one of the things that I, that's really, really helped me within my journey is the ability to just, in every single moment, just to be aware of what I'm doing. Or if I have to really focus on like the sage here, if we allow ourselves to just be able to focus on something and we have that attention towards it and we can just be there in that moment and a bug could fly on it, but we're in the essence of that moment. So if we are able to focus on what it looks like, what the stems look like, what the stick on the bottom looks like, then we allow ourselves to focus on many different things because if we can bring our awareness and our attention on one little minute detail, or projection of consciousness or manifestation, which that's a manifestation right there, is just a stick of stage. I mean, a stick of sage. <laughs> For a person who talks a lot. <laughs> but it's just like, okay, I can focus for just one brief moment on something then that allows you to think for yourself, but then that allows you to focus on other things. Then that allows you to receive knowledge at a greater rate of speed. So one of the things I wanted to vocalize was spiritual mass. So every time that you have light and compass within yourself, every time that you are more filled with spirit and you don't have dark spots here or dark spots there or on any of your chakras, that is generating that spiritual math. That means that you're generating that DNA, those light codes, and you're generating that vibration inside of you because then you've seeked the internal journey. You've seeked everything inside of yourself. You've allowed yourself to follow your heart and your mind at the same time, but also you've just allowed this being to be a part of you. So, and it's kind of like, it's when you fully channel the higher self. It's when you fully encompass your higher self's wisdom. It's when you allow yourself to be endowed within the light of your spirit. That's why I say the Oracle of Love, Light, and Wisdom, because it breaks down the densities of consciousness. But the Oracle is knowing that you have a council of guides, knowing that you have a sense of direction, know, knowing that you have gifts to allow people to receive. But love is what we always go back to when we try to flip the script to a line. Love is unconditional love, loving ourselves, loving others, seeing others as an extension of source energy, but also recognizing what energy we want to have within our space. And then light is the appearance and the manifestation of everything. And wisdom is everything that we've had since the dawning of mankind. Wisdom is not a projection of ego or a projection of an opinion or a projection of like when someone is really in distress and they're saying, oh, you're just a hard headed person like that. They're really themselves being hard headed because they're saying that about themselves. So but when you're really aligned with that truth of the Oracle or your higher self or the beings that you channel, it's because they trust you. 
they trust you with the divine obedience. But at first, you have to trust God and you have to trust your guides and you have to trust the process in order for the divine to trust you. Not that they didn't trust you maybe in the beginning of your guys' journey or my journey, because for a while, you know, when I would go live, um, my higher self would be above me. He wasn't necessarily encompassing this vessel. So, but he was still assisting me. He was still helping me. But I wasn't there yet. And I'm still not there yet. But that doesn't allow us to reach a plateau. Kind of like when you're lifting weights, you get to a certain plateau and you're not able to bench like 350 and then you kind of have to go to lower weights. Well, sometimes we, the way that we generate longevity, the way that we generate being in the present moment and relevancy is the way that we don't lose the train of thought, the train of consciousness, but also we allow ourselves to be universally a receptor of universal love. That's why when you're integrating and you're in a moment of distortion or you're angry or you're pissed off or you're stressed or something, that's why it leaves very quickly because it's like a volcanic eruption of spontaneous combustion. And then that old vibration goes out and then guess what? The river of source comes in and then it's almost as if your heart is renewed. So each piece of our spiritual origin is trying to bring us back to a state of soul love, of soul appreciation, of soul gratitude, which turns into our soul craft, our meditative path. And the tricky thing is, <laughs> the tricky thing is, is maintaining that meditative state throughout the day. And sometimes it's just taking a bath with Epsom salts like I did. And I, I lay in there and I know that I'm being replenished. I'm, I'm giving back to God, but I'm also allowing God to work within me so that I can be that power and I can be that vehicle for a wave of blessing. So when you wake up and you're filled with the light of your spirit, you will channel the light of your spirit, but you will walk in the anointing that is set before you. And that is what is beautiful at the end of the day. So we're going to be doing a meditation soon. So if anybody wants to take part of this meditation, you can. Um, I'm checking if my higher self wants me to say something or my guides. So flipping the script. But also um, one thing I would ask of you guys and ask of myself is write down what you want right now. What do you want to do right now? Write down what you want right now. What do you seek yourself being in a year's time? How can you see yourself grow or expand in two weeks? And how can you change your state of being or your state of awareness or your frustrated state in a nanosecond? How can you just stop everything for one moment, stop the world for one moment and just drift away? And have that attentiveness with your vibration and just feel it and focus upon it. But also knowing that the concentration, what is the concentration before any of that happens? That is allowing you to find your center every single day. So this is like your Alice in Wonderland. This is like your palace. This is like your source of energy that you want to be encompassed in. And you just allow yourself to be that. And it's not something that you have to force. And it's not something that you have to try. And a bug was on the camera. <laughs> it's not something that you have to try to do. It's not something that you have to force to do. But authentic expression just comes when we're just in the moment. And in the fire of it. And the passion and the glory of it. 
And I think that's what's beautiful about it. When you're just in that moment and you're just in that everlasting bliss and it just doesn't leave you, that's when the true transformation is made. So also guys, before we start this meditation, I wanted to uh, let you guys know you can book private sessions with me for $70 and healing session for $60 and also uh, $50 for a psychic class if I get like four or five people um, on the psychic class itself. But also I do live readings as well, but we're gonna do a meditation. So if you wanna take part in this meditation, uh, everybody is going to accept this meditation. We're gonna call it a healing meditation. That's what my guys just said to me. I never plan out my lives and I never write them down. Everything is just kind of off the cuff and just from the heart. So we are going to be doing meditation. So relax your neck, relax your spine, stretch your arms out, but also you can stretch your legs out as well, which I'm gonna do. Okay. Everybody take a deep breath. Exhale. And breathe at your own pace. And while you are receiving this meditation, I want you to see what you're capable of. All the things that you need to let go of, all all the things that are toxic in your life, all the things that are feeling like it's putting you in a box or you feel bullied or shoved around. Just allow yourself to forget all that for a second and just bring your focus on your center, on your chi, on the way that you flow with energy. So in this moment, we're going to ground deep into middle mother Gaia earth, coming back into God source energy and the great I am, receiving from the river of source, north, east, south, and west. Archangels of love and light, who's willing to cleanse us of our auric field. And we're just gonna tap into the Shekinah glory of God source energy. When you have acceptance, that means you have fulfillment. That means that you're filled. And when you're filled with the twin heart and everything that you need and everything that you desire, this means that you're already in your future manifestations. You've already teleported in those future manifestations. So this means that you're bringing your attention to the present. You're bringing your attention to the present that creates worlds into existence. And the way that you empower that every day is to realize that you're not the same as you once were. Nothing will ever be the same. And you wouldn't want anything to be the same because then that's not allowing for true change to happen within your life. So we rejoice in change. We love the transformation that we're going through. And we love the fact that we're here to be a blessing to other hearts and minds. And if we can allow ourselves to have that spontaneous combustion of consciousness, of flow, of presence, of awareness, of grace and anointing every single day, we allow ourselves to release that energy that doesn't need to be there. But also there's a balancing of the masculine and the feminine where we can use the light and the dark as a vehicle. So if we challenge ourselves every day, it doesn't mean that we're challenging ourselves in a negative way or seeking in a negative way. But if we challenge ourselves every day to do better, if we just allow ourselves to tap into the oneness, 
if we just receive because some people have a hard time receiving but if we just have the ability to receive if we just have the ability to tap in if we have the ability to just let go every day but also re-energize ourselves and charge our batteries once again because we've had the life sucked out of us for so long and it's finally time for us to be empowered that's why we call it empowerment because you're charging the energy within your electromagnetic kinetic source energy field so just think of yourself as like your iphone charger or Maybe you're plugging your e-bike in or you just plug in that TV and you turn it on. And then for a second, that attention to that awareness just lights up and it appears and it comes onto the projector screen. And that's what we're all are. We're all just a projector screen. We're all that light that's just shooting up into the heavens. And we're just that starburst energy that comes from our extraterrestrial friends. So once that burst happens, that means that our energy is being sent as a servant to others. Our spirit is working 24 hours to make sure that we're on the right track. And our guides are always watching us. so that we can become a guide, so that we can become a best friend, so that we can be a loving, harmonious, balanced being. So when we do this, we allow ourselves to multitask. So we're bringing that attention to the focus that we are. So we're allowing ourselves to focus once again. And when we allow ourselves to do this, it's very beautiful. If you are able to focus on one thing, that means that you can focus on a lot of different things simultaneously. So that's how the multiverse is made when we're able to multitask within the quantum. So this is where we pull our absolute awareness And we allow ourselves to reciprocate the truth, but we keep it within the container. And the container allows us to initiate a vortex. And then that vortex allows us to place everything there. And then that vortex sends out everything that you desire within this physical earth plane. So it allows you to bring the intentionality and the vocality to the way that you change your personality. You find what suits you. You find what allows you to express yourself in your divine expression. Your preferences the way that you carry the energy with you. You don't allow the energy to come out of you, but you carry the energy with you wherever you go. And then people recognize that because they see energy, they see luminosity, they see you going at a high rate of velocity.
Determination is being certain. If you have determination, that means you have certainty. And when you have certainty, that means that you know, without a shadow of a doubt, of the absolute, undeniable, incorruptible truth of the Oracle of Love, Line, Wisdom. You don't question it. You don't lose your faith. You don't allow something to affect you. But you allow everybody, everything, and even yourself to come back, to be alive, to be aware, and to remember the source of the I Am Presence. This is when you become the oracle of love, light, and wisdom, which is God manifested in the human form, a prophet of this new generation, but also the sacred flame of creation. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. That was beautiful. I hope that you guys thought that was beautiful. I hope the internet connection was good. There was a bogus call calling me. So I had to, I recognized that I heard the ringtone. I hope it didn't like distort the entire live or like mess up the connection. Cause I'd really love to keep this one, um, put it on YouTube and bit shoot. Um, so I want to thank you guys for being a part of this live feed. Also, uh, book private sessions with me, $70 for an hour, $60 for a healing session, and also $50 for a psychic class. And go to my YouTube channel, White Wolf the Oracle, Instagram, White Wolf 4741, and BitChute, White Wolf the Oracle 23 underscore at symbol. So um, the main thing that I wanted to get across with this live was just flipping the script, just knowing that you're awake, that you're alive, and that you allow your life to be beautiful and you allow yourself to be a loving, compassionate, unconditional being, a harmonious being, a balanced being, but also a way of understanding others, a way of loving others and having gratitude towards them, but also um, just seeing like the beauty in everything. Like I'm gonna go cook uh, stir fry and I'm I'm gonna look at that as blessing. I'm gonna look at that as giving nourishment to my girlfriend and myself you know and it's just like simple things like that you know you could have a million dollars in the world but be not happy you could have a jacked body you could be the most handsome person on the face of the planet and still not be happy um and then there's i I hear these people that are online and like a person that had a hundred thousand dollars and was completely unhappy and like just like quit their job and found another way to be happy so it's like vibration is the same as money vibration is the same as emotions certainty and determination is the same as consciousness it's it's all the same stuff it's all energy you know and i can tell you that um Like three years ago, I was not happy with my life. And I had an epiphany one night, like sitting in, laying in my uh, roommate's bed and was just saying to the universe that I was unhappy with my life and unfulfilled. So it's just like, you know, I had that epiphany. And when I said that, the divine heard it and sent a person and then all these other situations happened and things of that nature. So just don't think that they're not listening to you, even if you're not awakened. 
just know they are listening to you. And if they love you enough, and if you're the chosen, if you're just a person that wants to receive from God's source energy, they will make sure to get you where you need to be. You know, and I, I know that that is my saving grace, and I know that for a very fact that I was saved by the divine. And they didn't pick anybody else in my family. They, they chose me, you know. That was, a, that was a hard lesson to learn. That was a hard one to learn. So, um, thank you guys, book private sessions. Thank you for the likes. 5,000 likes, wow. So thank you guys so much. Book private sessions, $70 uh, for an hour for psychic readings, healings. Healing session for 60 and $50 psychic class and also White Wolf the Oracle on my YouTube, Instagram, White Wolf 4741 and BitChute, White Wolf the Oracle 23 underscore at symbol. I hope the internet connection was, um, you know, good. I hope that you guys really enjoyed the message, but just know that the divine hand picks us so that we are able to be a genuine source of love to others, to use our gifts to be the gift that keeps on giving and to just knowing that you don't have to be perfect. And knowing that you don't have to work out all your imperfections here. You don't need everything right here, right now. And it doesn't have to happen all at once. But just know that it will happen. And everything that we try to do on a day-to-day, moment-to-moment basis is just finding the fundamentals and finding the repetition. You know, it's kind of like basketball. You can be very flashy, you could dunk the ball, but if you don't have the fundamentals in place, if you don't know how to dribble the ball properly, if you don't know how to pass out of a shot or something, um, then all of it's just useless. And so we are like the we are like the guardians of the galaxy, believe it or not. We're like the guardians of the galaxy. All of the Marvel movies and like all of the movies that you watch have truth in them. So everything that we're doing is just developing that sense of truth and that sense of a wakefulness, but that sense of aliveness. And just have the invitation that I want to be blessed today. Have the invitation that I want to love today. But also just have the invitation that I want to receive from a genuine source of energy, a genuine source of abundance. Um, one last thing, I know I said one last thing like 20 times, but like Tony Robbins said something very beautiful and he said, you know, we're all biochemically different, but if we keep putting stuff in our bodies, then we're going to have disease and we're going to be sick. It's the same thing as spirituality. If we're meditating, if we're, you know, watching movies we shouldn't be watching, or if we're uh, doing things that we shouldn't be doing and we know we shouldn't be doing them. It's kind of like I had to, I started a cardio routine. I started running again. I started swimming again. And, you know, because I was eating a lot of fast food and that's just not good for you, you know. And it's just like, give yourself nourishment. And I'm not saying you have to be a green freak or you have to do all these herbs and stuff. I, I don't think that's always the most useful thing because you can put the intention in whatever you're putting into your body. And also the intention of what you're vocalizing of what you're putting out there and also like being triggered it's okay to be triggered it's okay to be depressed for a moment but don't stay there because then you allow yourself to see that at any given time we have to recalibrate so um it's kind of like uh It's kind of like when people have an emphasis, like I like drinking water, but I'm not a big water drinker, you know? I'm not necessarily a big water drinker, but I allow myself to see everything as a blessing, as a way and a form of generating that energy inside of me. But sometimes it's not about the conditioning that you're exposing yourself to, it's about the intentionality that you have with the vibration. That's why I talked about slowing time down, bringing time towards yourself, pulling your destiny towards yourself and things of that nature. So it's all there. It's just, are you gonna reach up and grab it and implement it? 
So it's, it's not hard. Sometimes being human makes it hard. But as we let go of our humanity, we actually become more human. Because we're actually feeling and we're vocalizing and we're actually understanding and being cognizant and aware and receptive. Reception is key. So, um, you know, and we just have to stop having hate in our hearts and judgment and condemnation. If we just stop sending out that vibration of lack, of worry, of stress, of anger and judgment, and have complete forgiveness within ourselves and for others as well. So that was, that's what I'm going to finish with. So book a private session anytime. Uh, go to my YouTube channel, uh, White Wolf the Oracle, Instagram, White Wolf 4741, and BitChute, White Wolf the Oracle, 23 underscore at symbol. Also, um, book a private session with me, $70 for an hour and $60 for a healing session and $50 for a psychic class if I get like four or five people. So without further ado, this is White Wolf. God bless and namaste.